a very interesting place to photograph. It's an old warehouse and I don't know what companies has been in this building, but it's a mess. You have graffiti all over the place and you get odd stuff lying around. Drove past this over there a few days ago and I decided to, when I have a proper time to come out and shoot this place or photograph things in, in this place. This is, I like these kind of places. Of course, I have to be a bit careful. There are some odd stuff on the ground and, you know, I don't know if somebody's in there doing something illegal. So I have to be really careful out here to see. That's why I came here midday on Monday, which is most likely the best time to be here. Some photo walk coming up around this place. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I'm a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. I will start from that side and see what's in there. As I said, I don't think I'm going, going to go indoors there. I should have taken someone with me, so we would be two. Two, then it would have been okay, but uh, I don't want to go there by myself. You never know what's, what's in there. Might be some rats, there might be some people doing something that they are not supposed to do. So I'll just keep myself out here and know where to get out if I need to get out real fast. There are doors open, so it'd be totally tempting to go out there, but no, I'm not. We'll start with that. That's an interesting, there's a vault over there, which is totally open and has some odd stuff in there. Maybe I'll grab an image of that open door. Yeah, I think I can get an image of that. And it's uh, something that I'm not really decided. Like, like I always say that you should decide which, what kind of images you're going to make. Not sure if I'm gonna make black and white. This could be a very good time to do some really, uh, what do you call, kind of a gloomy black and white images. Even though some of the graffitis are really colorful, not really sure what I'm gonna do with the images yet, which is, very unusual for me, but uh, I will continue and see, see what's over there. Okay, let's look in here. What's this? Used to be a garage. Maybe they had some, uh, what do you call, repairing cars here. No, it doesn't look that way. Maybe it's just a warehouse where they, you know, put stuff in the, in the trucks or something like that. Let's, let's see what's in there. Nothing really interesting in there. Some graffitis, but I might grab a image of the of the indoors. Maybe I think that one would be cool to get an image of of right there where you can see the window and you can see the graffiti in there. I think that could work. Let me let me try and see how it goes. Yeah, I think that one. That one came out good. And we will see what's, what's over here. There's the vault again. Some real graffiti. I need to be careful where to stop because there are a lot of glass on the ground and, and something else that I might not want to stop. Let's see what's, what's, what's over here. There's a garbage can. I, I can really understand it. What has happened with this place? Because it looks like they just left everything here. And then there'll be people been carrying it outdoors. And let's, let's look in here. It's a lot of glass, as you can see, not nice. There's some really colorful graffiti in there. I think I can get an image from here. Yeah, I think that came out quite good and interesting, but I still can't believe this place. Because this was the where the personnel went in. That's Henkele Kunta, that's personnel in Finnish. That's their door. That could be, could be an image right there. Let's see if I can get something out of this. I was planning on taking the EM10 Mark II with the kit lens. It would be totally cool and proper equipment for this shoot. But then it started to rain, so I decided to take M1 Mark III with the 12 to 40 millimeter 
f2.8 pro zoom which is totally weather sealed so it's no problem when it gets wet well i have to be careful so that the front element doesn't get too wet like <laughs> like it does with my insta 360 that i'm filming this with sometimes when you're out in a in a photo shoot like this there's just too much to to shoot there is there's so much interesting stuff so i don't know how much i'm gonna make images here i think i'm i can make tons and tons of images with different type and get a get a real series of images if, or, or series of images of of this building and, and then of course there's the indoors which i might maybe i ask matti Solanta to come with me and then we can go in there in there and do some more shooting i don't know if it's anything interesting because it's just office building and some some uh, industrial things over on the, on the lower floor so not sure if i'm gonna do that but i see something really interesting over there so let's make our way there and i'll just grab the camera i think it's easier to do but what do you think of these kinds of places as of course it's horrible that buildings get into this state but what i think is um about uh, what i'm saying is that as a photographic subject to doing like this and i i can't be stressing too much that if you do something like this be careful be, be careful because you never know who is going to be in, in indoors there let's see there is a kids uh what do you call i don't know kids toy it's pluto <laughs> i wonder what the pluto is doing here i'm gonna go make an image of that because it's something that really doesn't belong here but let's see what we can do with the pluto i think it was an image very interesting because i like to photograph stuff that is kind of like out of place and you start wondering and asking questions it's like the famous american photographer diana arbus said that you should make images that raise more questions than give answers and i think that one it's of course it's, it's a bit different genre that she was doing but the idea of image that is something something odd i think that's something that i like it is uh, it is just the way it is you know it's, it's more interesting if, if, if it doesn't tell you all the answers immediately and now i'm gonna check out that bucket of paint and why is it there it'll make a nice image really interesting place <laughs> I've said that many times and um, as I said about the gear it doesn't really matter what what kind of gear you have the main thing is that you have gear that you are familiar with and you like to photograph because that makes the photographing a lot more fun when you have something that you really enjoy using so this is not about gear photographing a place like this so it's uh it's all about your vision and what do you see here and if you see this place 
as a photo opportunity. I do. Not sure how good the images were that I got. I might come later today, just make images without doing the video and just grab some more, more photographs, which I'm gonna do right now. And here are the images that I took while I was not filming. Okay, I hope you enjoy the images and what's really strange that they actually have mail still here in the mailbox. That's something really strange that I don't understand. Really, really strange. Today, the light was not something spectacular. It was really, really boring light, overcast weather like it is quite often here in Finland. And, but I really, I want to remind you of my May assignment that I gave last Friday. My previous video. Go check that out. I will put a link of the video over there. So send me an image of light and shadow. Check that video out. It's a long video, but it's a pretty thorough video about light and shadow. So you want to watch that and then send me an image. All the instructions can be found from the video. So. Be sure to watch it all the all the way from the beginning to the end so you know what to what to expect of the feedback that I will give in my live stream at the end of this month in May 21. Yeah, it's 21. But I will continue of making. I will make an image of this. This is one of the most odd things around here. But I will I will grab an image of that and then I will see what else I can find. I heard some people talking in there. And uh, I think it's better to get, get out before they realize that I'm here photographing because there might be some nasty people in there. So I'm going out. I hope you enjoyed the video and, and um, if the assignment is still on, there is a link to that video over there. If it is not, then there is some other video of my photo walks. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.